Hi guys, just going to do a very quick rubber band powered car, especially for Carissa, who's asked me in the comments what the problem is with her car, she can't get it to go. So I'm going to make, make it out of this cardboard tube. I've already got some wheels on some barbecue skewers, so I'm going to use them. So first thing I'm going to do is cut the top off the tube the quickest way I can. So I want to get this video up very quickly tonight. I need to poke that out because that's going to be sharp. So we have to be careful with that. So watch out for the sharp edges. I wouldn't normally do that, but I want to be quick. Next, I'm going to poke a couple of holes through it for the axle to go through. One at each end, or two holes at each end, obviously. I can see that ring's going to come off anyway if I pull it. So we'll do that so it's out of the way and I haven't got the sharp metal then. That hole needs to be big enough for the axle to go through easily. Then we need one at the other end as well. And it'd be a good idea if you can line them up. Same with that one. Probably haven't got them quite right, but I'm trying to rush this as you can probably tell. Okay. I'm not going to go through how to attach the wheels to the axles, I've done that lots of times, so it's just bottle caps hot glue to the CDs and just push through the... I can see that's not very straight at all but it'll do for the demonstration. That one through there. Okay, that's our axles. That's terrible, that's nothing like straight. I might straighten that up actually, that's too bad. Right, so it's running freely. That one's not quite running as freely as it should do. I need to make that bigger. Use a pencil to make the hole bigger. That's better. Right, so we've got two free running axles. What we need to do now is attach the rubber band to one of them. And at the other end, I'm going to attach it to the top of the tube with a paper clip. Just like that. Just join a few rubber bands together. long enough. So what happens to that paper clip? Dropped it. This one will do. So 
So paper clips holding the rubber band at this end. I'll just wrap the rubber band round itself, round the axle. I could put a peg on there, but I'm just doing this very, very quickly. So I've just wrapped it round itself. If there was a peg on there, it'd make it a lot easier. But there we go. So I'll just show that again. I've put a paper clip just on the edge there to hook the rubber band onto. You don't want to attach that rubber band to the front axle. That's the wrong thing to do. Okay, so it's on the top there and wrapped around there. If you put a ball pen tube through there and put the axle through the middle of the ball pen tube, then you could attach the rubber band to the outside of the ball pen tube. But if you attach it directly to the axle, the front axle can't turn round and the car won't move. So, wind it up and let it go. There we go. I'll put that up as quickly as possible now. Just to show what I mean about the ball pen tube. Here's a ball pen tube that I've already cut the end off and it's wide enough to go right through the car, through the body. And the axle is a nice loose run inside that ball pen tube. So if I make the holes bigger, using that pencil, Right, instead of that rubber band going round the paper clip. Round the ball pen tube. Well, <laughs> better if I put the ball pen tube through there first. Right, so now the rubber band is tied to the ball pen tube and the wheels or the axle can go through there and still spin. So that's the same car but with a ball pen tube going through the front to hold the axle and also to hold the rubber band. So now I can <laughs> Get the rubber band, wrap it around the back axle, so it wraps around itself, holds itself in place. I'm actually winding it up upside down. Turn it over and let it go.